resume reader, Krosong. And today I will be reading to you from Apricity. This is the last chapter of Apricity. So up next is the binge compilation and then the bonus one shots of Apricity. Now on to chapter 16. After another week, Russia is healed enough to come out of the bed. However, the damage to his back and ankle was still bad, so he was confined to a wheelchair. He didn't mind, though, just glad to be able to be out of the bed and move again. He attended physical therapy every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, trying to get his legs working properly again. Soon enough, he could walk for short periods of time, but nowhere near what he needed to skate again. His fans were very supported, starting dozens of fundraisers to help him pay for the medical bills and therapy fees. There had been rumors, as there always were, that he had been sabotaged, that someone had planned for him to fall. The biggest suspects were Finland and America. Russia didn't address any of the rumors and focused on getting better and spending time with his lover. A few months after the incident, Russia called a press conference to update the media on his situation and finally addressed the rumors surrounding his injuries. America peeks through the curtain, looking out at the hundreds of people, all waiting for Russia to come out, murmuring in dozens of languages. There's so many people. He looks back at Russia, who's fixing his hair. I'm not surprised. I haven't really been seen in public for a while, so of course everyone would come. He sighs. I just hope they can actually listen to what I have to say. They will. Everyone listens when you start to talk. America smiles softly. Russia chuckles, fluffing his hair up before looking at America with a smile. Thank you, dear. Would you mind helping me to the stage? He asks. America nods, going over to Russia and wheeling him up on the ramp that leads to the stage. He pushes the wheelchair up the ramp and through the curtains. The entire room goes silent, watching Russia as he's wheeled to the podium. America moves, standing beside the podium. The audience explodes into questions, everyone talking over each other. Russia waits, saying nothing. The audience eventually quiets down, waiting for him to speak. Good evening. My apologies for my absence for the past month. But as you know, I wasn't in the best of shape. His voice is even and calm. I've called you all here today to update the media on my current situation and address rumors I've seen being spread on social media. Firstly, I would like to relieve you all by letting you know that my recovery is going well. I am able to walk for short distances already, and the doctors say I should be able to stand on my own within another month or so. The audience claps, cheering slightly. Russia waits for them to quiet down. Now, on the topic of rumors. I've been seeing that some people have been making assumptions about the cause of my accident. Many people have assumed that it was sabotage. I can tell you right now that you are wrong. Finland did not try and ruin my career by tampering with the state of the ice, nor would he ever do that. We are rivals, yes, but we have honor. And for those of you who speculated that America was the cause of my injury, Shame on you. I don't know how many times I have to say it, but America has no intention of harming me. And for those of you who still doubt that I love him, Russia moves, gently pulling America down and kissing him. The audience surges forward with a sea of questions, but Russia just breaks the kiss and winks at America as he wheels off stage with him. Behind the curtain, America blushes and can't stop giggling covering his face in embarrassment. Russia smiles. Did you like that exit? He teases lightly. 
<laughs> Very much so. America giggles. Come, let's head back to the hotel. Yeah, I'm tired. America nods, going over and wheeling Russia out the back door and to their car, helping him in. He cuddles against Russia's side as their driver starts the car and drives off. When they get to the hotel, it's well into the night. They move into their room, America going over to the bed. Russia takes a deep breath and checks his pocket before wheeling over to behind America, who is currently messing with the sheets. Russia moves, easing himself out of the wheelchair and into a standing position. America? His voice is gentle. The smaller country turns around, jumping slightly when he sees Russia standing. Ruz, you shouldn't get up without help. You'll hurt yourself, he exclaims. Russia chuckles a bit, one hand on the bed to keep himself upright. I know, but it wouldn't feel right doing this sitting down. Russia takes America's hands, taking a deep breath. America, I love you more than anything in the world. I love how soft you are and how beautiful your laugh is, and how strong you can be and a million other things I can't find the words for in any language. You're so beautiful, and I've loved you since practically the moment I set eyes on you. When we first met on that night in the club, you mean so much to me, and I don't know any other way to show that than this. Russia moves, slowly kneeling in front of America. He takes a box out of his pocket, opening it and holding it out in front of America. The smaller country covers his mouth with a gasp, tears welling in his eyes. A simple silver ring sits in the center of the box, shining in the dim lights of the room. America, will you do me the greatest honor and be my husband? Russia asks softly. America sobs happily, rushing forward and hugging him. Yes, yes, a million times, yes. He cries, hugging him tightly. Russia laughs warmly while hugging back, kissing his cheek. I'm so sorry to spring this on you, but I couldn't help myself, he says. America sniffles, smiling brightly, his stars glowing. God, I love you, he sobs. Russia smiles softly, kissing his forehead and drying his tears. I love you too, he says softly. He gently puts the ring on America's finger, kissing his cheek again. Now, I hate to ruin the moment, but could you help me onto the bed? I think I may be stuck. Russia smiles, blushing in embarrassment. America giggles, standing up and helping Russia off the ground, easing him onto the bed. He lays down with his boyfriend, no, his fiance, cuddling close. He'd learned how to heal, he'd learned how to love again, and now, with Russia by his side, he knew he could do anything. This was love. And that's the end of this chapter! I hope you enjoyed. And oh my god, this book is adorable. Anyway, I'd like to invite you to join the Discord, which is linked down in the description below. That being said, I hope you have a nice rest of your day, night, or whatever it is for you. And tomorrow, you'll get the binge compilation. I'll see you then.